Hello, I'm Mark Etherton. I'm a hot water heating contractor, an educator, and a uh, published article writer. I'm here today to demonstrate a new product to you that is going to save you a lot of time and trouble in doing analysis of physical plant equipment in the field. It's called an onset hobo data log. This device has the ability to be able to stay on the job and record time, temperature, uh, relative humidity, and numerous other parameters and then can be brought back into the office and uh, downloaded to analyze at a later date. I'm going to launch the logger right now. We hook this cable up to the actual device and then we click on our Hobo software. And we click on launch, tell it OK. We have the opportunity to be able to select the channels that we would like for it to log, as well as the time that we would like for it to log, the intervals. I'm going to set that for 10 seconds. I'm going to tell it that I want it to push the button to launch it, and I'm going to launch it. There you go. It's now launched. And we can now take it into the boiler room and hook it up to the equipment to find out what's going on. Okay, we're in my mechanical room now. I suspect that my domestic hot water heater, which is this large blue tank here, and it's powered by this boiler, is turning on during the day when I'm not here, but I obviously can't stay here to watch it and see it do it. So I'm going to take this sensor, which is a hobo product, and I'm going to bond it to one of the supply and return lines between my boiler and the storage tank. I've already connected another sensor on the bottom. And then we will uh, let it run for 24 hours to find out exactly how many times per day the hot water heater is turning on when I'm not home. And then I will come in 24 hours from now and do an evaluation. Okay, it's been 24 hours since we've had our data logger online. And all I have to do is unplug the data logger. You can leave the sensors intact here. And uh, we'll now take it in and connect it to the computer and download okay, the data. Okay, we're ready to download the data from the onset Hobo data logger. We plug our USB connection into the data logger. And we bring up our software. And here we see the 24-hour chart of information that we've obtained from the data logger. This is the beginning of it right here. We started at about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And then we continued all the way through until approximately 7 a.m. the next morning. These low, slow sawtooths that you see here are basically the system cooling off after it's been heated up. This peak right here is when it's turning on. I leave the house generally at about 8 o'clock in the morning, so all of this sawtooth action that's occurring right here is basically the domestic hot water heater turning itself on during periods of time when I'm not here. These other sharp closed areas here are actually uses of domestic hot water, running the dishwasher, the clothes washer, etc. Um, also my wife taking her evening bath right here at around 10.30 at night. And then again the slow sawtooths that we are seeing here again are the domestic hot water heating system turning itself on during periods of non-use. So as you can see there's a substantial amount of on and off going on that I would never have been able to have found had it not been possible to utilize the uh, Hobo data log. So the data logger is a very, very valuable tool, relatively inexpensive compared to the amount of manpower that would be necessary to record the information. Uh, this information can be exported to Excel files. Uh, it's, it's a very valuable tool. It's virtually priceless when it comes to doing statistical data analysis of heating systems in the field. Thank you.